If you own or are considering buying a home with a private well, you'll want to know what condition it's in to ensure that it will provide enough clean water for your household. Contractors must file well logs with the state when a new well is completed. Well owners should have a copy too. Later we'll explain how homeowners in Michigan can find their well online. First we'll go over some of the information you can find on your well log. One of the most basic details you'll learn is when your well was constructed. Mineral deposits, bacterial growth, corrosion of the screen or casing, and pump damage can all decrease well performance over time. You'll also find the depth of your well. Deeper wells aren't necessarily better, but shallow wells may be more susceptible to contamination because a contaminant would not need to travel as far to get into a shallow aquifer. Your well log will detail what materials the driller encountered underground as they drilled the well. This gives clues to which aquifer your water supply is coming from. You can also learn about the components used to build your well. The screen allows water to flow into the well and keeps sediment out. If the openings are too small, the screen can get clogged. However, if they are too large, they may allow sand to enter the well, which can damage your pump. Grout is used to seal the space outside of the casing. Improper grouting may result in soil collapse and provide a pathway for runoff to get into the well. The casing prevents leakage into the well from the surrounding formations. Cracked or corroded casing can provide a pathway for contaminants to enter your well. The well log will tell you what type of pump and pressure tank were installed with your well. Keep in mind that these may have been replaced since your well was drilled. The pump needs to be the correct size to meet the water needs of your home. Pump damage can lead to costly repairs or necessitate replacement of the pump. The pressure tank helps reduce wear on the pump by building up a reserve of water under pressure so the pump can start and stop less often. The well log will also note the sources of contamination nearest to your well. These could be things like septic tanks, fuel tanks, or an unplugged abandoned well. For more recent wells, the log may include water quality test results. The EPA recommends testing your well annually for bacteria, nitrates, total dissolved solids, and pH levels. So now that you know why it's important to understand the status of your well, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to find your well record using the state database. I do want to note that this is a project in progress. And even though there may be a well on your property, it may not have been entered at this time. We want to begin by going to the WellLogic website. You can quickly get to this site by clicking on the link in the video description below where all the links that you will need are posted. Once you get to the site, we'll start by selecting the county under well location. For this tutorial, I'm going to use an address in Roscommon County at 120 Bell Avenue. If you know the township, you can type that in as well. It can help narrow down the results, but it's not necessary. Go to street address and type in just the house number, then click search. Scroll down through the results. Now you can click this tab right here to sort by alphabetical order. And as you can see, here's the address that I'm looking for. Also, there may be multiple wells on the property for irrigation, barns, or abandoned wells. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're selecting the right one. Once you've found it, you're going to look under this well ID column and select this number and it's going to download a PDF document with all the information from your well record. If you're having trouble finding your well using WellLogic or if you just don't know the county for whatever reason, another tool you can use is the Michigan State Water Well Viewer. Again, you can find the link for this posted in the description below. When you get there, click on the search icon, type in the full street address. Now it may pop up in this drop down right here. If it does, you can go ahead and click on it. Now all these dots are signifying wells. And this marker right here is my address. So to make this a bit easier to see, I'm going to go over to the layers tab and switch to aerial view. And as you can see, here's the house. I'm also going to turn on these environmental layers. These will show different kinds of contamination sites that have been reported in the area now or in the past. For this one, there is a site about 500 feet northeast of the house, which you can click on. You can see that this is labeled as a leaking underground storage tank. Now this one is labeled closed, but it's important to know this information because nearby sites like this could affect your water's quality. Now we're going to go back to the house and select the well closest to it. Look through the information on the side panel. Make sure that it is the address that you're looking for. 
If it's not, click on some of the neighbors and you might be able to find it. Now that we have it, we're going to select on this WellLogic ID and that's going to download a PDF file with our well record. Once you've downloaded the file, you can go ahead and open it. If you're having trouble opening this file, you may need a PDF reader. I've posted the link for Adobe's free reader in the description below for those who need it. Before we end, I want to highlight some of the key parts of the log that were discussed earlier. First we have our location by coordinates, date completed, total depth, pump and pressure tank information, geology, casing information and casing material, screen information and screen material, and lastly we have our possible sources of contaminants. If you'd like to learn more about your well, please click on the video link below. And with all that, we hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a good day.